Hey everybody and welcome back to a new video. I hope your week is going well. So today, guys, we're doing a review on the MJX Bugs 6. Uh, this is a uh, racing drone, or FPV racing drone. So before we get into the review, I just wanted to say a huge shout out and thank you to GearBest. Uh, thank you, GearBest, for sending this quadcopter for me to be able to do a review on. Um, guys, if you haven't checked out their website, go to GearBest.com. I will leave a link in the description for this drone if you're interested in it. Um, and that's all I have to say. So thank you guys very much uh, over at GearBest for sending this to me. Those guys are awesome. They have some great products. They're really cool. Um, great people. And just, I can't say enough about them. So with that being said, guys, again, we're going to be doing a review today on the MJX Bugs 6 FPV racing drone. Now, apparently, according to other reviews, uh, this drone is very similar to the Bugs 8. So I'm not really familiar with a lot of the, the uh, Bugs. Um, I haven't done a review on them. This is my first one. So we'll check it out and let's we'll see what it looks like. So here is the uh, the drone. Now you'll notice there's a all-in-one camera on here because they sent me the standard version of the uh, the drone. So I went ahead and um, I uh, went ahead and took my camera off of my Tiny Whoop and added a battery back here um, so that way we can do some actual FPV flying with this guy, hook it up to the goggles and everything like that. So that's what that is. So normally there is a, a camera that you get um, and you can buy and it comes I think with a monitor as well depending on what version you get. Uh, this one is just the standard version so no camera but it does hook up pretty quick on there. So that's what it looks like from the top, from the front from the back and these are brushless motors which is really really sweet um, that's really really cool and that's what it looks like from uh, underneath all right so uh, what you get in the box with your bugs um, you do get a whole set of extra propellers you get your uh, instruction manual and you get some uh, bugs stickers which are uh, pretty cool the uh, manual is actually written very, very well. It was uh, very easy to read. Um, I didn't have a problem with it at all. The English uh, translation was excellent. They did a very, very good job. So uh, kudos to Bugs on that for doing an awesome uh, translation. Um, here's the uh, remote that you get with it. This does require four AA batteries to, uh, to run. So uh, on the top here, you've got uh, two, two uh, buttons. you got your low and high. You get your lock and unlock so when you first turn it on you uh, hit the button once and that's going to go ahead and unlock the motors so they will start spinning and then when you land it uh, you hold it down and that locks the motors and stops them from spinning so that's what that basically is um, over here you have your flip button and over here you have your uh, video button if you had the camera that comes with this particular one it doesn't so but I added my own and I'm gonna hook it up to the goggles so that way you guys can see I don't have a DVR on my goggles. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and put my other camera phone up there so you guys can see what we're looking at. And uh, I like this remote. It's uh, almost made of kind of like a nice matte black, almost like a rubbery kind of uh, covering to it. So it's uh, really nice. It's uh, comfortable and it fits good in your hands. Um, you got, of course, your, all your trim buttons on the bottom. Here's what it looks like on the front when you turn it on. And uh, you may have to bind this up when you first um, actually plug it into the drone for the very first time. So if it doesn't bind right away, it's actually really easy to bind. So all you have to do is you plug the battery into the drone and then you hold the red button down and then you hit the power button on like that and you'll hear it beep with the drone and then that will actually bind it to the controller, which is pretty cool. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get the battery. I have it actually charging and I'll show you what the battery looks like. So hold on just one second guys while I grab that. All right guys, so here's the battery that is included with the, uh, the Bugs 6. Uh, this is a 7.4 1300 milliamp battery, 25C. And it comes in this protective case. There are some screws here that you can undo. You can take it out of this case if you want to. You don't have to put it on there. That's what the uh, connector looks like. This is a regular like hobby grade connector and it does have a balance lead so you can hook this up to a balance charger if you have one. It does also come with this charger 
and you can do two different styles of batteries and it just comes with a uh, micro uh, USB cable to plug it in so which is pretty nice uh, again I'm uh, charging this up right now and then uh, the way that the battery goes in on the drone it goes right here on the uh, the back side and it just goes ahead and just slides right in there like that and then to uh, to turn it there's no on and off switch on this so to turn it on you just go ahead and you plug it right in there like that it's kind of a little hard to get um, the plug in there there you go and then it kind of you'll hear it kind of boot up there it's got white on the front and it's got the red blinking on the back which is really nice when it's uh, up in the air and you can actually see these lights they're actually like really um, well lit up which is nice sometimes you get the the lesser expensive drones and they don't tend to uh, light up quite as nice so once you turn on the remote you'll hear it bind up just like that and then uh, that will go like that and then those red ones will uh, stop and then I'm not going to turn it on uh, or turn up the motors because of the simple fact that these are brushless motors and uh, they do spin extremely fast so this isn't a novice quadcopter at all um, and that's the noise that you get if you turn off the remote and it just warns you that the uh, the remote is not connected so that's actually pretty cool it's like a little uh, uh, alarm that lets you know that the remote is not connected or the drones not bound to the actual uh, remote itself which is really cool I like that a lot so that's that's really nice so uh, yeah that's about all I have for it um, on here you can take off the top if you want and as you can see that's what it looks like under there they've got this um, it looks like it's just a, like a sticky pad um, and that's just covering up the probably the flight controller board and everything like that you can see the leads from the LEDs right here is where you would plug in the camera that sits right here um, I think how it, it works is it just kind of just slides in just like that from what I've seen from other reviews um, here's the actual uh, antenna where it uh, binds up to the actual controller so like I said mine did not come with the camera so I just use my all-in-one and just one of my tiny whoop batteries uh, so that way we'll be able to actually get some flight footage for you guys since it is an FPV racer I figured we'd hook up an FPV camera so you can actually see what it looks like so uh, that's all I have for the inside review so we're gonna go ahead and take this guy outside and we're gonna test it out fly it around um, what I'll do is like I said since I don't have a DVR on my goggles uh, what I will do for you guys is I'll just put my phone up there to the goggles so you guys can see what it looks like um, when it's flying and get some footage and things like that. So uh, hold on guys and we're going to head over to the park and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so we're here at the park and I've got the uh, Bugs 6 or the MJX Bugs 6 uh, with me. So I made a few more uh, little modifications. I went ahead and actually took off the top um, because it was making the camera kind of a slant and I wanted you guys to get a nice straight picture. I wanted to put the camera in the front here. I took the front off, but uh, with the antenna at the top, it was going to be just a little bit too big, and I didn't want the uh, rotors to hit it. So, and I just uh, it got some double-sided sticky tape, just took one of my uh, tiny whip batteries and put it there. So uh, that's, that's what I kind of did. So hopefully you guys can uh, get the camera and everything like that. Um, I've got the FPV goggles down here. I'm going to hook those up turn on this camera and we'll see how it goes so hold on a second guys while I get everything ready to go and we'll be right back okay so we've got the uh, controller bound um, so the way again that you start it up um, in a second here you hold the red button down once really quick that starts the rotation of the rotors and then once you land you have to hold that button down completely and then that will shut the motors off so uh, we're gonna start it up here and fly it around and see how you guys like it Now right now I'm in uh, low mode, but even low mode is still pretty, uh, still pretty fast. And keep in mind guys, this is not a self-auto hovering. I'm adjusting the throttle and everything. So uh, this is not a novice beginner 
drone. This is somebody who's had a little bit of experience flying drones. Um, but it is good if you want to get into like the FPV racing and kind of just dip your feet in it a little bit. I think it's going to be a good drone. So let's do a uh, flip real quick so you guys can see. So you can see it's actually really responsive. So let's send it out a little bit. We'll bring it back. You can see those LED lights are really, really, really bright, which is nice. There we go, did another flip. So it's really, really quick. Let's go ahead and we'll turn it up to the, uh, the high. So there we go. You can see it's actually really responsive, see? You can do quick, whoo! There we go, quick turns really fast, uh, which is really nice. So uh, it's real, real responsive and high. Keep in mind, uh, if you're gonna put it in high, um, be really careful with this thing, man, because uh, it does have those brushless motors, and uh, it can definitely um, it can cut you or hurt you. I found out the hard way, unfortunately. Um, I brought it down for a landing, and uh, I was trying to shut off the motors, and it uh, the motors didn't shut off all the way, so that was my fault for not making sure that they weren't, so I did cut my hand. So... But uh, it's a really smooth flyer. I this is the first bugs that I've gotten to uh, to actually review, and I'm going to bring it kind of close here. I'm not going to bring it too close because again, this doesn't auto hover. So I'm. But you can see it's really, really nice. And um, so I'll show you when we land here really quick. So I'm going to land. There we go. And then you can see the motor is still spin so I have to hold that red button down and you hear it like that and, and that's when it shuts it off so let's go ahead and go for another uh, flight this has got a really good range on it too so uh, I did fly it in my backyard uh, for a little bit and it was pretty nice, but so if you get this particular model, I definitely recommend getting the model that comes with the uh, with the camera attached to it, just so you don't have to uh, you know configure your own. You can take those legs off too, so you can kind of get that real racer feel to it but this is a really nice uh let's see how responsive it is bring it back over here there we go all right let's do a punch out so what i mean by a punch out is we're going to go uh i'm going to hit the throttle straight up and it's going to go up we're going to see how responsive these motors are. So let's put it up in the uh, the high mode and we'll do a punch out. Okay, ready on um, three. So three or one, two, three, punch out. So you can see it's got really, really, really nice. Let's bring it all the way down and we'll do a punch out from on the ground. Okay, ready? So on three. So three, two, one, punch out. Now this doesn't have acro mode. I think the stock for this, it's set in an in angle mode, which is good for me because uh, like I said, I'm not really an FPV pilot. I'm still learning. You guys know that because I do, you know, drone photography and video and things like that. So, but this is a really fun flyer. It's really, really fast. And again, this is not for a beginner quadcopter flyer. This is going to be a novice or advanced uh, because this does have brushless motors and it's extremely powerful. I apologize, we're in the park and the guys um, are mowing the lawn back behind us or doing something. So, you know, you can't control everything, but this is a really cool quad. I really, really, really like it a lot. It's 
It's really responsive. So let's bring it down and uh, we'll go ahead and land her. There we go. Shut off the motors. All right, guys. So this is the uh, review I did of the somebody's lighting off fireworks. I thought somebody was screaming in the background. So this is the review of the uh, Bugs or the J, sorry, MJX Bugs Six. This is a great quad. Um, it's a great um, novice to advanced. Not really probably something you're going to just get for your kid just to kind of learn. This is going to be something for somebody that really wants to uh, get into the uh, racing. And as you can see, I turned off the uh, remote. That's the same thing it does when the battery gets low. It gives you an audible warning on the remote and it gives you an audible warning coming from the quad as well. So it's a battery warning when it's low voltage, which is really nice. So, But um, this is a really cool quad. Um, just be really careful because these brushless motors are extremely powerful and they can cut you. I cut my hand yesterday when I was uh, flying it. So again, just be really careful if you buy it. But this is an awesome quad for the money. It's really cool. I like it a lot, guys. So guys, if you like the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you like the channel, you like the reviews, uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button for me down at the bottom. And if you hit the bell next to the subscribe button, that will let you guys know when I've got new reviews out for you. We do reviews on Thursdays and Fridays and sometimes the weekends if we have extra time. So guys, thank you for all the support and comments as always. And in the meantime, let's keep our drones up in the air, flying high. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me today.